everyone, welcome back to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna continue my psychotic secret server lab. I'm gonna focus on web password onboarding in today's video. I already logged in as a NASAC administrator, which I already have a personal folder. On the my company folder I created a couple of friend, one folder called uh, website so in today's video i'm going to show you how to onboarding your website password into this folder i'm going to using aws console as an example there's some requirement you may want to go through um, you may want to set up your secret policies if you don't have one you can just uh, easily create a blank one Let's call it uh, web password policy. You don't need to change anything, but just um, in case future you need to make some changes, the policy changes like you require checkout. But here, in as an example, you don't need to set up anything. You even don't need to create this secret policy. But for the best practice, you may want to have one to assign to your folder. So first thing I'm gonna assign folder right now there's no secret no secret policy but uh, I would like to have one here. So then you assign your secret policy. Second thing is the template. You want to think about it. For a secret template we already have built in web password. What you want to do is duplicate this secret template to another one. You can do copy secret template and then give it the name. So I already did that. I have one which is uh, I created before 51 web password. It's exactly the same as uh, building ones. Um, if you need it, you can make some changes, but uh, in here I'm just using an example. I create a template for my web password. Gonna be use it uh, when I creating anything under this folder, website folder. So after you did those two things, you can start to onboard your password, web password. So just create a new secret and you choose a template, 51 sec test uh, web password template and then put it on under the folder 51 sec test dev website folder and secret name we call it uh, we're gonna using aws console login and uh, let's see aws console login so you can find our url and you can get into the login page and you need uh, my account AWS management console and this is a root user you got to the sign page so this will be our URL so we can just put the URL here so we also want to put our username into the secret name so we know which account we're going to use so the username here will be same password this is the one you log in AWS console page okay create secret we have URL username password and then you just create secret So we have URL. We so then we can take a look at other properties of this secret. Since our secret policy has nothing changed, so here mostly will be no. We didn't enforce any policy here, so there's auditing to show you when has been viewed, when has been enabled, when has been created. 
dependencies with no dependencies do you want to share that's the permission so we inherit permission from a folder it's only psychotic users can access to it so and then email settings we didn't set up that yet so we can leave that one thing i forgot to mention is that when you set up your folder you have to set up permission properly you can see the folder permissions you can do inherit permission so right now we allow the psychotic users and NASDAQ this owner both to have view this folder and the NASDAQ of course can do more as the owner so in this psychotic users group, we can check how many users will be in there. There's two users. We can see which two users, test one and test two. Those two accounts, we're gonna use it in a few, use it later to test it out. So again, we go back to our folder. Uh, we created uh, our web password secret uh, now we're gonna use it from a NASDAQ account you can directly click launch as an owner you should be able to do that this is notification to telling you you need a web browser extension to enable login so so kindly it also provide the URL to us to get this plugin. So the plugin called Secret Server Web Password Filler. So we need to add it to Chrome. Add an extension. So there's a lock sign icon and the secret server web password filler has been added to the clone. You don't need to turn on the sync. Pin this extension to the list. And then now we need to configure the extension. So it's asking username. Here there's the two users we can use. One is test one, which is normal user. One is NASDAQ, it is a log admin. So I would like to use in test one since we let the end user experience. So let's click login. It's gonna asking us the URL for a secret server URL, which you can copy it from the previous page. So this configuration and the domain it's our domain save it and then we can uh, put the username again and password login perfect so you can see the icon has been light on that means it's ready to use so let's close this page, close this two page, let's do launch again. Let's see what's happening. It's still prompt as the browser extension required. That's fine. Let's uh, restart the browser and login again. This time I'm going to use in test one. Test one is domain user. So we log in and we want to enable this as well. The password will not saved for this extension. Each time you have to log in first before you can use the web password filler. Okay, log in. And uh, now we can go back to website page since we are the viewer for this folder so we can see this secret 
click on it you will get the launch button here so now it's launched to the page and it's automatically filled in the user let's see what's next so you see we typed something wrong so they say this user is not there so let's click that we miss the one o here that's the something it's not missed here it's missed in the username okay let's see what happening next okay password has been automated filled in let's sign in so we perfect sign in using this password password filler There's some settings use SQL Server to log in, prompt to save the credentials. Do you see this one? Save. That's for the Chrome. Since we are our only viewer, for this account we don't have permission let's go back to NASDAQ account to see what's happening we're gonna log out here as well we're gonna using NASDAQ account and then we're gonna log in Since NASDAQ is a local account, so you have to log in as a local account. Okay, let's log back in here. NASDAQ. You need to choose local. Log in. So we tested with test of one user which only has view permission. Now we are testing NASDAQ which has owner permission. Let's see what's going to happen. We notice the username is wrong here. So that's a launch page. You see we cannot log in because the user was wrong. Change that. Next, sign in. Let's go back here. The username hasn't been changed, so we have to do manually change. I was thinking this I this plugin can also change the, the wrong username as well, but seems like it won't be able to do that. Um, I'm gonna try another thing, which is trying Google login and see. If they can prompt me to auto save the password or not, because here the settings prompt to save the credentials. Let's try that.
to use this function, we may need to let's do this. Let's create a new secret using web password. We need a secret name. Log out first. This is login page. Let's do this. Let's create another view for the gmail let's put the username this time I'm not gonna put in the password I can generate the password here so we generate the random password it will be wrong create secret close this close this and we're gonna launch it Gonna use another account. So next, the password will be wrong. It's automatically filled in. In here, we're gonna correct. Put the correct the password in. Okay, next. We log it in. Unfortunately, this plugin still didn't prompt to save the credentials. Is still the old password here. And the launcher is web password here. So that's basic usage for how to onboarding web password into Psychotic Secret Server. Thank you for watching. <laughs>